taking about two, three breaths deep down into the belly, keeping the chin down towards the chest, pressing the shoulders down. And just taking long and deep breaths as you inhale and as you exhale. As you inhale, let the belly expand. And as you exhale, the belly relaxes. Again, as you inhale, the belly expands. And as you exhale, the belly relaxes. One more time. As you inhale, the belly expands. And as you exhale, the belly relaxes. And now from here, you're going to bring the right knee close to the chest. Keep the shoulders relaxed. I hope I'm audible. And then stretch your left leg forward. And just allow the weight of your right leg to press your back on the floor, giving a nice release on the back. For some of us, as I said, this lockdown can be a very stressful time, having to do a lot of physical work and added with the mental pressure of the uncertainty of tomorrow. So take this one hour just to release, to relax, to be with yourself and to keep yourself ahead of anybody else. We are playing so many roles and doing so many things for the others of the family. With this one hour today, it is for your own self. So stay here and then take your right leg all the way to the left side. Keep your right shoulder grounded, turn your head to the right side. And just feel a nice, deep, easy stretch in your body. Soften and relax the facial muscles. And try to breathe more into this class. So longer, deeper inhalations. When you feel very challenged at any point, you can even breathe out through the mouth like and then come back to the center and have your right knee once again towards your body. Keep the shoulders, the neck and the face completely relaxed. Don't think what is going to come next. What is it that we're going to do next? Just savor and linger the movement that we're doing right now. Learn to be in the present. This can be meditation. And then slowly release. Bring your left knee all the way towards your body. And go ahead and stretch your right leg forward. Extend the right leg all the way to the front. Releasing any kind of tension, any kind of tightness from your back. Relaxing the shoulders, the neck and the face. Knowing that this practice is for you. It is completely and totally for you. And then from there, holding on to the left leg. Taking it all the way to the right side. And then maybe turning the head to the left side. You may release the foot down, you may release the knee down. And just stay here and take a couple of breaths, inhaling and exhaling. One more nice, long, deep breath, everything. And then slowly come back all the way to the center. Again, drop both the knees towards your chest and just release and relax your body. If you feel like, you can rock side to side. Be aware of whatever comes up in the practice. What are the kinds of thoughts? What are the emotions? What are the feelings that come up? Observe them. And then from there, hands go behind the knees. Just rock on your back a couple of times. Rock in front and back. Just giving a nice massage to the entire spine. Just enjoying this joyful movement, moving front and back. Make this as your last rock and then come back and sit up nice and strong. Sit up straight and strong, nice and beautiful. And from there, we are going to lengthen our spine up. Keep the palms facing down from the knees. And we just move, take movements. So we just start to take a little movement, moving from left to right. So we are going to move the chest forward and then take the chest back and in. Remember the head is only moving with the body. So what you're not trying to do is push your head forward. Don't do that. Try to push the chest forward as much as it goes and then start to just circle. You know what, if you close your eyes and do this movement, it will be like a very nice Sufi movement. So go ahead and just close your eyes and just enjoy this movement. Circling around your hip, around your waist. And you will notice after a certain point of time, beyond a certain time, you will find that you are not moving anymore. The movement is happening on its own. And that is when you will really start rejoicing in this movement. So let this movement come on its own, just moving in the same direction. 
Remember, there's nobody watching you as you're practicing in the comforts of your own home. So just make this movement once more in the same direction. And then just come back to the center with the tall spine and just release and relax. And just savor all the sensations that you can feel and you can experience. And then from now, without turning up, start moving in the opposite direction. In the beginning, your movements will be small. The circles that you are taking, that will be a little smaller. That's okay. As I said in today's class, there is no push. There is no fighting. There's no force. There's only connecting deeper and deeper to the body and the breath and doing what feels natural in your body. That doesn't mean you're going to be lazy. You're going to try to find your edge today and then just do what feels natural and comfortable. And when you're going to the edge, how do you behave? So it's the same thing when you are under any kind of stress or discomfort, how do you behave? outside the mat, the same learnings, the same teachings you will take from the practice today. So start circling a little more bigger circles now. We're just going to do two more circles and then slowly and gently come back to the center. Again with the tall spine, put the shoulders back in now and just take a moment. So we do a lot of movement based practice today like a free flow, not keeping ourselves very rigid. Nice long deep breaths. And then from there, inhale, open your eyes, extend your hands up. Exhale, start to bend on your left side. Inhale, come back to the center, exhale on the right. Inhale, center, exhale. Just bring in that nice dance-like movement in the body. Just free yourself completely from all the shackles, from all the chains. And just keep moving on each direction. Enjoy every bit that you're doing. And if there's any discomfort, any pain in any movement, observing that, noticing that, and knowing very well that you can take a step back if there is something which is giving you discomfort and pain. But having said that, remember you have to find your edge also. So now from here, we're going to stay on one side, linger a little longer on this side. Maybe the elbow will touch the floor, maybe it doesn't touch the floor. Maybe you feel a deep stretch. Maybe you feel something which is comfortable. Just savor that nice length, that space being created in your body. And then come back all the way to the center and then slowly and gently start leaning on the opposite side. You don't have to force to bring the elbow down. If it comes down naturally, let it happen. If it doesn't, stay where you're feeling a deep stretch and just savor and linger and be there. And find the breath in this position. One more. Nice long deep breath everybody. And then inhale slowly and gently come back to the center. Finding your way on all fours from here. So from here you're going to shift yourself on all fours. Keep the heel of the palms facing towards each other. Fingers pointing to the side and just move side to side. Your shoulders are slightly ahead of the wrist. You're giving a little pressure of your own body weight. You're putting it on the wrist, making them a little more stronger. As always, your fingers are spread out nicely. And then from here, maybe you can just lean on one side a little longer, stay here, keeping the arms straight. And then from here, move your weight, shift your weight on the other palm, and just linger here and feel that weight of your body on the wrist. And then slowly come back to the center. Turn the fingers to face forward as we always do. And take a few cat cow stretches. Keep your toes tucked in, it will give you a little more balance. Inhale, arch your back. And notice if you're tempted to move faster. Don't, we are going to move slow today. And then exhale and then slowly round your back. Again, inhale, one vertebrae at a time, stretching it out, draw the shoulders behind. And as you exhale, you're going to round your back. Two more times, inhale and arch. Enjoying every movement, every breath. Exhale and round your back. One more time. Inhale and arch beautifully. And exhale and go ahead and round your back. Inhale, come back to the center. Go ahead and set your right leg all the way back. Inhale, raise your right leg up. Bring it close towards the hand. And this time, bring the right leg all the way around. This could be a new movement. So what I did, I did put my right leg in front of my left knee. And I'm going to create a little space between the knees, okay? 
and then slowly from there find your way up into static. If you fall off, laugh it out and again come here. Okay, this could be a new movement for the body. So inhale and slowly stretch up. Exhale, bend to the right side. Nice and strong and breathe. Doesn't matter if you're still struggling with your balance. Keep working on it. Even if you fall off, laugh it out and come back to the center. And then start to bend and stretch on the other side. Inhale, come back all the way to the center. Bring your hands down to the floor. Separate your feet on two opposite sides and come into Gomukhasana. So you're sitting into your Gomukhasana. Inhale, try to stretch and lengthen your hands. Exhale, reach forward as much as you can. Bring the hands down to the floor. Lengthen the spine, chin away from the chest. And just linger here. Inhaling and exhaling deeper. Soften your belly muscles. Soften the shoulders. Soften your facial muscles. And just breathe and stay here for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Inhale, walk the hands close to the legs, slowly lift up. Now those of you who have a very strong knee or hip pain, just bring your hands forward and come out of the pose like this, okay? Rest of us, we'll do a little play. So we'll just play around. Right leg is on top of the left leg. So turn yourselves towards the left side. Okay? And then taking support of the hands, come up. Turn. Pivot your feet. And then slowly and gently come back to the front. So now we have the left leg on top of the right leg. We are going to do this a couple of times more. If you have any knee injuries, hip injuries, do not force yourself. So my left leg is on the top now. I'm going to turn on the right side. I'm making support of the hands. And then I'm going to lift myself up, move all the way and find myself again to the front with my right knee on the top. Let's do this a couple of times more, just like a child's play. So the right leg is on the top, turn to the left side, come up, and then sit down into Gomukhasana. And again, turn towards your right, come up, and sit into your Gomukhasana. Nice. Turn on your left, come up, and sit. Two more times, please. Come up, turn, and sit. If you, some of you are still figuring it out how to do it and still not got it, no worries. I repeat, my right leg is on the top. So from here, I take my hand to the left, come up, turn the foot, and this time I stay here. Now my left leg is on top of the right leg. I stay here, draw my feet closer to the hips. Inhale, stretch the hands up, and then slowly again, lean forward. Stay here and breathe. Stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now from here, I take support, bring my knees forward, okay? I take a little bit distance between the knees, bring my foot slightly in, so I'm not separating and widening the feet. Bring my feet slightly in so that I can find my balance and I come up on my knees. Inhale, stretch your hands. You might be struggling with for balance, that's okay. And then again, take a side stretch. Inhale, come back center. Exhale all the way to the left side. Inhale, come back center. Exhale, bring your hands down. And this time, just take the right leg from behind and come back on one force. Press the palms onto the floor, bend your knees, and then slowly move yourselves up into your downward facing dog. Now for the next one, between down dog and up dog, we are going to move like water, like a wave. So maybe just bring the knees down and watch once or twice before you do it. So we are in our down dog. I'm going to keep my chin to the chest, slowly. So from here, slowly, I'm going to unfold, unfold, my chin is the last one to be pressed away from the chest. By moving back, I bend my knees, okay? Push the floor away. So watch the whole thing. Moving like water. So you can watch once more and then we can all do it together. Okay? So everybody in down dog, 
Let's start, okay? Keep your chin to the chest. Your chest is towards the hip. Now, you're going to start moving the chest and the body forward. Chin is to the chest. Lower the hips down and up dog look forward. To move back, bend your knees. I'm still looking forward, guys. So push your hips up and then take your chin to the chest and then connect the dots. Inhale forward. Exhale back. We're doing this three more times. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Remember the flexibility will not come without the strength. So your hands have to be working. Last time. And back into the downward facing dog. My hands guys. Now go ahead and walk your legs forward towards the top of the mat. Stay here, breathe. Bend your legs, hold on to the opposite hands, bring your head in between the window that you've made with your hands. And just allow the spine to stretch. Maybe just turn side to side, keep your legs bent, really bending the spine. Your hands moving forward and down, your head in between the hands. And then release the hands all the way to the floor. Stretch your legs straight. And then just sweep the floor with your fingers moving side to side. Just enjoying that nice release on the back as you do this. Come back all the way to the center and one body here at a time. Slowly keep your chin to the chest. Very slowly come all the way up. Stand up straight. Stretch your hands up. Give a nice length. Exhale, come back to the center. Interlace the fingers, stretch your hands all the way up. Strong spine. Inhale, come up onto your heels. Exhale and down. Inhale, strength at the legs, activating legs and down. Again, inhale and stretch. Exhale and down. Once more, inhale and stretch. Try to balance here. You will have to squeeze your inner thighs. You have to keep your balance. And then try to bend sideways. You have to keep your inner thighs squeezing together to balance. Really work on the power of the legs here. Inhale, come back to the center. Feel the power in the legs, guys. Exhale and start to bend on the left side. Kriyaka Karasana. Inhale, come back center. Exhale, slowly release the hands and release the heels. So really have to engage the legs. Let's do that once more. Inhale, arms reaching up. Interlace the fingers and palms facing up to the ceiling. Come up onto your toes or on the balls of the feet. Don't come on the tip of the toes, then it will be difficult to balance. Fix your gaze at a point in front and then start bending on the right side. Try to stay here a little longer, stay with the power of your legs, power of your core. And then come back to the center. And then exhale and then start bending towards your left side. And stay to five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back all the way to the center. Exhale, release your heels down. Lower your hips down. Push your hips back. Look down. Your toes should be visible under the knees. And your tailbone should be tucked under. Stay here and breathe. Inhale. And then from there, exhale. Stretch your legs, hands back. Inhale, again, into your Uttatasana. Really squeezing the legs and the inner thighs close to each other. Exhale and straight legs, hands back. Three more times. Inhale, your hands are forward. Breathe, knees drawn towards each other. Don't push the hips out, hips facing down. And then slowly take your hands back, stretch your legs. Two more. Inhale, breathe, stay. Knees moving back so that your toes under are visible. And then again, stretch your legs, stretch your hands. One last time. Again, inhale, stay here, breathe. Draw the thighs in, draw the belly in, and then now, if it is possible, straighten your arms and stretch it up. Hold it here for five. You can even lift your toes up, sending your weight back into the heels, guys. Three, two, and one. Inhale, straighten your legs, bring your hands down. Roll the shoulders up, back and down, shake it out, and breathe. Now, from here, inhale, take your hands all the way up and back. Exhale, bring your hands down to the floor. So your fingertips are on the floor. Lower your hips a little bit more. Inhale and come up into your Uttadasana. 
Inhale up again, doing this few more times. Exhale, hands to the side, lower your hands down. Inhale, come up into Uttarasana. Inhale, stretch all the way up. One more. Exhale, like a wave, moving. Inhale, and really strong legs, breathe. And this time, exhale, then forward and down with straight legs, look towards your knees. Inhale, stretch and lengthen the head and chest up and forward. Palms on the floor, step the right leg back, step the left leg back. Move into your downward facing dog, stay here and breathe. Inhale, move forward into upward facing dog. So no chaturanga, no knees, chest and chin down. Exhale back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, shift your weight into the left leg, raise your right leg high up. Keep your hips square, toes pointed, breathe. Try to lift your chest up, don't dump it on the floor. Raise your neck higher. Hug the knee to the chest, look forward. Step the right leg all the way to the front. Turn the left heel down, so the left heel is down. Inhale, come up into your warrior one. Stretch the leg straight and then bend it. Again, stretch the leg straight and then bend it again. Two more times, stretch the leg straight and bend it. Keep the back leg like the power leg. Inhale, stretch the front leg and bend the front leg. Keep the back leg like a power leg, breathe into it. Now from here, inhale, cactus hands everybody, breathe. And then slowly bring the elbows together around your back. Inhale, open up the chest, cactus hands. And then round your back, pull the arms close to each other. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One last time. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, stretch the hands all the way up. Exhale, bring the hands to the floor and straighten the front leg. If you need to shorten the distance, you can shorten the distance between the front and the back leg. Keep your head and chest up, stay on your fingertips. Push the right hip back and the left hip forward, bringing the inner thighs close to each other. So keep sending the right hip back and the left hip forward. If this feels okay, then slowly and gently start to bend over. Draw the abdomen in. Bend over and stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, bend the front leg. Slowly walk your left leg back, come into a lunge position. Stay here and breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your left knee down on the floor and then from here, just walk yourselves back. Trying to sit on the heel, keeping the front leg straight. Inhale, move forward. Try to come into a lunge. Try to do this without the hands. Exhale, go all the way back. Do without the hands if possible. Inhale, the power in the legs. Come into a lunge. The knees will slightly cross the ankles in this one. It's okay. And then slowly press back and sit. Last two times. Inhale, really moving forward. And exhale, taking the hips back and down. One last time, inhale, just building up the strength in the legs and the hips. And exhale and sit back. Bring your hands down, sit all the way. And then once again, see if you want to bend forward and down. Stay here for five, four. Remember, you can always take a step back if you find something very difficult to do. Two. And one. Come back, bring your hands to the front, lift your left knee up, send your right leg all the way back to downward facing dog. Move your heels up and down, wave your body forward into upward facing dog, and then bend your knees and push your body back into the downward facing dog. All of this on the left side, shift your weight into the right leg, raise your left leg high up to the ceiling. Breathe, lift the chest up and back. Hug the knee to the chest, body forward. Step your left leg all the way to the front. Take your time, ground your right heel down. Back leg is straight, that is the power leg. Inhale, come up into a warrior one position. Keeping your hands reaching up, stretch the front leg and bend it. Again, stretch 
and bend. Two more. Stretch and bend. Last time. Stretch and bend. Stay here. Breathe into your body or one everything. Again, hands and cactus, really opening up the front body and then really stretching the back body. Again, inhale, open up, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Like Moni said yesterday, holding a pen between the shoulder blades. And now the shoulder blades being drawn away from each other. This is what you need in plank. Again, inhale, opening up. This is what you need in back bends. And again, grounding, protracting the shoulder blades. Two more. Inhale, keep lowering your pelvis down at the same time. Exhale and fold. Try to hold it. Feel the power in the legs. Inhale, open up nice and strong. Exhale, squeeze it in. Breathe. Inhale, stretch your hands all the way up. Exhale, straighten the front leg, bring your hands down. You may want to decrease the distance between the legs. Go ahead and do that if you need to. Stretch and extend the spine. Stay here and breathe. Move your left hip back and right hip forward. And then if you feel comfortable, lower the chest and the head towards the left leg. Stay here and breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. Look forward, lift your head and chest up. Bend that front leg, send the right leg back. Keeping the toes tucked in, bring your right knee down onto the floor. This will require a little flexibility, but I'm sure all of us can do. Now from here, you're going to push your hips all the way onto the heel. Stretch this leg, okay? Now without the hands, try. Lift your hands up. Really with the power of the legs, push the body forward. Inhale with the power of the legs. Try to go down slowly. Again, inhale. Use the power of the legs to move the body forward. Exhale, the hip will try to fall back. Avoid that. Go down slowly. Two more times. Inhale, improving the range of movement, the integrity of the legs, and slowly back. One last time. Inhale, you can even open up your heart and chest, stretch your hands back. And then inhale, last time, moving the hips back and down. Bring the hands down. And maybe lean forward and down towards your left leg now. Lifting the toes up in the front, remember. It will work on your right foot as you can feel the pressure in the toes there. And then slowly shift your weight forward, bring your hands in the front. Raise your right knee up, send your left leg back into the downward facing block. Move your heels up and down. Remember, roll your triceps towards your thighs. And weight forward into an upward facing block. Exhale, weight back into your downward facing dog. Step forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, half forward, bend everybody. Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, come all the way up. Stretch yourselves. Exhale, and release. Moving into chair twist. Inhale, feet together, legs together. Go down into the chair. Breathe. From here, you're going to take your Left arm across the right knee. Drop your hips down more and more. Turn the finger towards the chest. Look up. Really get that side body working as you turn your body to the right side. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Go ahead, bend forward and down. Relax and release. We do the same thing on the other side. Again, coming back into the chair pose. We're going to start shifting our weight towards the left side. Really using this arm to hook. Turn the chest. Look up. Lower the hips down. Breathe and stay here for five. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Three. Two. And one. Exhale. Bend forward and down. Inhale. Lift and lengthen your head and chest up. Palms on the floor. Step the legs back into your downward facing dog. Wave forward into your upward facing dog and then bend your knees and push back into your downward facing dog. Stay in down dog, breathe. Stay in down dog, breathe. And now we're going to take our right leg all the way up and back, shifting our weight into the left leg. Bend that leg and really open up the front of the hips. 
Keep the chest lifted, keep the shoulders square. You can watch me once, don't do this. One shoulder down, one shoulder up. Both the shoulders in one line, chest up, not dumped down. And try to really open up from the front of the hips. Stay here, breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the knee back to the center, shift the body weight forward, and bring it all the way to the top of the mat. Left heel on the ground, inhale, come up into a warrior two. Nice and easy and strong. Inhale, stretch your legs and your hands. Exhale, just like a flow, like a dance. Again, inhale, hands up, legs up. Exhale. Two more, inhale up. Exhale, just enjoy every bit, every part, every movement. Inhale, exhale and stay. Widen your legs so that you can create space for the pelvis to go down a little more. And then inhale, you can really move your arms and exhale. So it also happens to be a dance day. So just a little fluidity, a little dance like movement. Two more times. Inhale, exhale. One last time. Inhale. And exhale and stay in your Ashwagandhasana a little longer. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your hands all the way down to the floor. Turn your back heel up. Now bring the heel down and turn all the ten toes towards the right side. So from here, turn all the ten toes towards the right side. Inhale, lower the hips down, stretch your hands. Come back all the way to the center, move forward, walk, and turn towards the back of the mat. Turn all the ten toes towards this side, left side, and once again, lower the hips down and open up. Again, come back to the center. Instead of doing skandhasan, come to the top of the mat. Drop the back heel. Turn all the ten toes in the same direction, lower the hips down and really open up. Come back to the center, walk to the front, turn all the way to the back of the mat, lift the heel up, turn the heel to one side and then again come here. Last time come back to the center, do the same thing on this side, breathe. And now from here, take your right leg back, okay? Take your right leg back, lift your hips up and come into your Chamatkarasana. Keep one leg straight, one leg bent, come into your Chamatkarasana. Stay. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back all the way to the center and send the leg back. Same down dog, breathe, feel the opening in the body. Inhale, wave forward into upward facing dog. Bend your knees and wave back into your downward facing dog. Bring the knees down for a moment if you need to. Release and relax. And we do this whole flow on the left side. Again, go back into your downward facing dog. Shift your weight into the right leg. Reset yourselves. Raise your left leg all the way up, bend that leg, turn the leg towards the opposite side, keep your shoulders squared, lift your chest up. Stay here and breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the knee back to the center, shift your body weight forward, step your left leg in the front. Ground your right knee down, inhale, come up into your warrior. I will turn on this side so that everybody can see. So left leg is bent, right leg is straight on the foot. In. Again, like the dance, inhale, straight hand, straight legs. Exhale, open up. Again, inhale, exhale. Two more. Inhale, exhale. One last time. Inhale, exhale. Create space so that your pelvis can be lowered down a little bit further. Now inhale, reverse, exhale, 
Side angle, partial pose. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, partial pose. Two more. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, going a little more deeper with every round. Last time, inhale. Exhale, stay in your partial pose asana and breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Bring your hands down to the floor. Lift your back heel up. Turn all the toes towards your left side, heel down. Inhale, lower the hips, stretch your hand. Right hand down, left hand up. Come back to the center, face the camera. Right leg in the front, turn the foot to the side, lower the hips up. Again, come back center, move forward and turn. I hope everybody is getting this movement. Come back center, move and turn. Last time, going back towards the left leg, turning, lowering the hips up. Come back center, step your left leg to the opposite side. Keep your right leg straight, left leg bent. Lift your hips up, move into your wild thing, Chamatkarasana. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Come back to the center slowly, send your leg back. Catch your breath here. Way forward into upward facing dog. Exhale, bring the knees down and just take a little rest here. Breathe. Inhale, come back to the center. Keep your toes in, toe crusher. Sit back on the heels. Keep your back straight. Beautiful. For your heels, for your ankles, for your feet. Those of you who have heel spots, pain in the shins, those problems, plantar fasciitis, this is very good. Hold it for five. Just bring your bounce to your heart center. Close your eyes, squeeze your inner thighs. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come down, squeeze your knees together, and then slowly lift your knees up. Everybody got that? Fix your gaze at the point in front, balance coming up. From here, walk your hands close towards your body. Squeeze your inner thighs, fix your gaze, and see if you can take your hands off the mat. Your heels are lifted, your knees are lifted. Balance, if it feels okay for your body, extend your hands up, if that is too deep, just bring your hands parallel to the floor. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Strong legs. Stay here. For five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the hands back to the floor. Walk your hands forward. Move back into down dog. Last floor coming up. Raise your right leg all the way up to the ceiling. Hold the leg, step it outside the right palm. Send your left leg back so that the hip comes down. Bring the right leg slightly out and pull the knee in towards the hand. Your palm and your foot in a straight line or rather your elbow and your foot in a straight line. Go down, do not lower the back knee down if possible. Stay here. Into a strong lizard pose. Stay, breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, press the palms on the floor. Walk your right foot towards the left wrist. Bring the knee down. Come into a pigeon pose. Stay and breathe. Instead of going down, we will do an active pigeon pose. To really press into the front shins. Keep your back toes tucked in. And lift up. Reach with your hands up. Stay, breathe, lift up. Five, four. So the hips are not touching the floor. Two, and one. And down, bring your hands down. Send your right leg back, move your heels up and down. All of this on the other side, take your left leg all the way up. 
Hold the left, step it outside the left palm. Send your right leg back. Lower your hips down. Take your left foot slightly outside the mat. Draw the left knee towards your left shoulder. And then where your foot is, bring the forearm down there. Stay your breathe. Hold it. For five. Keep hugging the knee close towards your left shoulder. Three. Two. One. Press the palms onto the floor. And then slowly take your left leg all the way to the right side. Bring your knee down and then slowly send your hips down for a moment. Keep your back toes tucked in. Feel the weight into your front shins. Lift your hips up. Press. Stretch your hands. Stay here. One. Two. Active pigeon pose. Three. Four. And five. Release your hips down. Take your hands down. Once again, send your front leg back into your downward facing dog. Again, bring the knees down. Working a little more into the balance that we did previously. Your toes are tucked in, you're sitting here. Bring your hands forward, squeeze your inner thighs, lift your knees up. Balance here, stay, breathe. Now from here, we are going to start lowering the heels down and then go ahead, stretch your right leg forward. Okay, lean forward guys. If you lean back, you will not get this pose. Lean forward, lift your right leg up. You can have your right hand on the floor. If you can, take off the support and stay here. Breathe. Very strong on the left ankle, on the left knee. If you want to take the hand support, bring the right hand up. Hold it for four, three, two, and one. Bring it all the way back and come back. Okay? This is something which you can practice over a period of time if you don't get it today. You don't have to do the whole thing today. Once again, really hugging the knees together. Send your heels down. Okay? Taking support with the left hand to begin with. Step your right leg forward. Hold it with the opposite hand. You can just stay here today. Leaning forward. You can just stay here today. If you feel confident, then release the left hand and hold the left leg with both the hands. Stay here, breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release and come down. Stretch your legs forward, shake it out, breathe, stay. Nice, nice, nicely done. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Before we start settling down, one more beautiful flow for the hips. Okay, this is your mobility. I will go very slow the first round and then all of us will do it together. So I'm going to turn this side so that it's easily observed, uh, or, you know, visible to everybody. So I'm coming into a mermaid pose like this. Okay, so see the right leg, the left leg back. Now from here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start leaning, taking the leg back like I would do my pigeon pose. Okay, watch the whole thing that we'll all do it together and we'll all do it without the hands. Now from the pigeon pose, I'm going to lean on my right side because I want to bring my left leg forward. So I'm going to lean towards my right hip, keep my right left knee lifted. Bring the leg all the way forward Bring it on top of the knee and stack knee and foot, knee and foot. And then start bending forward and down in a double pigeon agni sampa. Sindhu made to do this, I think yesterday's class. Stay here and breathe. This is a very good stretch for the hips. And now from here again, I am going to come up. I'm going to shift my weight because I want to take my left leg back. So I shift my weight to the right side. Stretch this leg. Take it all the way back, bring it into a pigeon. And then I'm going to fold this leg into a mermaid. Then from here, I'm going to shift all the way to the opposite side. So from here, I'm going to shift all the way to the opposite side, mermaid here. Then I'm going to send my right leg back to, again into the pigeon. Lean on my left side. Bring this leg forward, fold it, 
foot to knee, foot to knee. You can't see me now. So again, foot to knee, foot to knee. This time my right leg is on the top. I can stay halfway. If I have the opening in the hips, I will start bending forward and down. Then again, I come up. I have to take my right leg back to pigeon. So I lean to the left side, send this leg all the way back into pigeon. And then come into pigeon. And then come back into mortgage. Okay? Try and do it with me. So everybody, let's start with my right leg in the front like this and the left leg like in Virasana like this. Okay? What we are going to do is, we are going to send this leg back into pigeon and then bring it forward. Just do it until there now. So without the hands. Hands are here. Lean on towards the right hip, stretch the left leg and turn the thighs towards the floor into pigeon. So you're not sitting like this with the thighs up. Left thighs pointing down towards the floor into pigeon. Now lean on to your right side, lift your left knee up, bring the leg straight forward, bring it on the knee. So knee to foot, knee to foot, stretch your hands, exit forward, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back to the center. Bring your hands together, lean on the right side, stretch this leg, point the toe, send it back into the pigeon and then fold it into mermaid. And now change on the other side. So change on the other side. Send your right leg back to pigeon. Lean on the left side. Lift up. Bring it to double pigeon. Foot to knee, foot to knee. Fold forward and down. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Lean to the left side. Stretch this leg. Send it all the way back to pigeon. And then fold it to moment. Again, shifting. Not moving the foot, coming back into the mermaid on this side. One last time on both the sides. Don't worry if you don't get it right, just enjoy. Send the right leg all the way back into pigeon. Breathe. Lean on to the right side, bring the leg forward into your double pigeon. Inhale, stretch your hands, exhale, bend forward and down. Inhale, come back to the center. Hands to your heart center, leaning on one side. Stretch this leg. Take it all the way back into pigeon. Fold the leg back to mermaid. So bring the hips down. Now just shift and change the mermaid position and then stretch the right leg back to pigeon. Lean. Bring this leg all the way forward. Come into a double pigeon. Stretch your hands. Exhale, then forward and down. Inhale, come back up to the center. Lean to the left side, extend this leg, roll it all the way back into your pigeon and then back to mermaid. Okay, I don't know how much you got this, but this is known as figure of nine or double 90 with 90 90 and it's very good for the mobility of the hips. So from here back into your downward facing dog and just starting to release, relax, breathe. Bring the knees down towards the floor, cross your legs, sit back. Last bit of your class, hands under the knees guys, back straight into a modified Navasana. Stay here and breathe. We are going to go into a low port and a modified Navasana. So from here, down and up. Now if some of you find yourself lifting up very difficult, I'm showing you a modified way. So you go down, with your hands you can pull yourself up. Go down and with your hands. When you're going down, don't press the upper back and the head. Only towards the base of the shoulder blade should touch the floor. I'll show you once and then you can do it. I'll show you the modified way and the full way. Then we'll all do it together. Stand here. Stand here. Beginners will use your hands. Others will not use the hands. Just up. Okay? This is the only very active part of the class after the split slow down. So with me everybody, let's really do it. So lean back with a straight spine, bring your knees closer, lift your shins up, extend your hands. Go down, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, you can do it, come on, eight, up, two more, nine, up, last time. 10, up, and release. 
So this is where it's really, you're feeling it. These are your hip flexors which are getting stronger. Stretch and breathe. Straighten both your legs everybody. Go ahead and bend your right leg. Coming into Jano Sishasana. Inhale, stretch your hands. Exhale, lean forward. Breathe and stay here for 10 counts. Stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Inhale, look forward. Come all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands down. Stretch. On the other side, left leg bent, close to your right inner thigh. Inhale, stretch your hands. Exhale, go forward and down. Breathe and stay. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, look forward, stretch your hands. Exhale and release. Going down into bridge pose. Those who have the practice of chakrasana up to the bridge, you can put chakrasana with me. If you don't have the practice of chakrasana, if you cannot come up, just do bridge twice. So moving on the front of the mat, lying down on your back, everybody. Notice how the body feels after you have moved the body. Feels more open, more space created, more relaxed. Walk your heels close to the buttocks. Watch your knees, if it pains in the knees, then don't bring it so close. You can grab hold of the ankles or the heels. If you cannot reach, then also keep the hands on the floor. Draw the arms under your back. Squeeze your inner thighs together, lift up. Feel the natural contraction at the throat. Very good for your thyroid. Bringing the chest close to the chin. Stay here. Keep lifting your pelvis higher and higher. Stay here for 10, 9, Eight, watch my arms. I have really rolled my arms under my back. Three, two, and one. Slowly come down. So as I mentioned, we are not teaching Chakrasana in today's class. If you have the practice of Chakrasana, go in Chakrasana. Otherwise, repeat the bridge pose. And in Chakrasana, you can play with the variations. Okay? You can stay in Chakrasana, 10 pounds, then come down. You can stretch your legs in Chakrasana. You can do Ekapada Chakrasana. See what works best for you. Otherwise, stay in bridge and come down. So the hands on either side of the ears. Don't attempt it if you have never done this. Uh, because we are not there, it might be injurious. Okay, so don't attempt if you have never done this. Those who know this, draw the elbows in. Pressing the palms on the floor, draw the elbows in. Inhale, lift up. Just maybe stay here, linger here, feel it in your back, release your head. If this feels okay, if you want to bring the feet together and stretch and extend the legs, feel free to do that. Feel free to walk your legs slightly to the center, come into Ekapada. Or maybe just stay. Getting stronger in Chakrasana. Stay for another five, four, three, two, whatever serves you today. One. Come back, bring the head down, and then slowly come down. Take a moment, release, breathe, relax your hands, relax your shoulders. Good. Go ahead. Bring both your knees to the chest. Stretch both your legs up. Hold on to the back of the right leg. Bring your left leg down. And try to reach your hands up as much as you can. Keeping the shoulders and the neck relaxed. Drawing the abdomen in. Inhale. As you exhale, lift your head and chest up. Make, take your hands behind the right leg and maybe lift your left leg up. Hold the tail, breathe. Mm -hmm. 
slowly release. Take a moment and we repeat this on the other side. Stretch both your legs up. Grab hold of the back of the left leg. Bring the right leg down. This stretches the hip. Maybe some of us will stay only till here. Don't force anything, please. Really draw the abdomen in. Draw the leg close to the body. Inhale. Exhale out fully. Lift your head and chest up. Maybe hands go behind the left leg. Pull it closer. Lift your right heel up. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. Come back. Keeping the feet on either side of the mat. Stretch your hands out. And just drop the knees to one side. Turn the head to the opposite side. Come back center. On the other side. Repeat this two, three times more. Keep breathing. So again, your knees on one side, your head on the opposite side. And then come back to the center, keep your feet apart and drop both the knees on the right side. Listen carefully. Right foot on the left knee. Okay, don't get confused here. Right foot on the left knee, getting a deeper IT stretch and side body stretch. Your head can turn on the opposite side or it can stay at the center. Think that you're doing Shavasana, so let the body relax here so that all the stiffness will go out of the body. Come back to the center, bring that foot down, keep the feet apart and drop both the knees on the left side. Lift your left foot, place it on the right knee and allow that stretch in the leg. Come back all the way to the center. Do any adjustments that your body needs and then lie down in Shavasana. If it's not very important and necessary, try not to leave the class. Do two minutes of Shavasana. We come up, do a few rounds of Brahmari and maybe just sit still and in silence for a few minutes. Okay? So stay in Shavasana. Do any adjustments that your body needs. Relax the whole body. Breathe. Let the belly soften completely. See that you're not holding the belly muscles tight any longer. And just allow the breath to drop into the belly. Relax the whole body, relax your face. Just be, just be in the present moment. Be grateful to whatever you could do. Fill your hearts with a lot of love, a lot of gratitude, a lot of compassion. Take a long and deep breath in. Breathe out. Take another long and deep breath in. Breathe out. One last time, take a long and deep breath in and breathe out. Stretch your body if you need to. Hold your legs. Turn over to your right side. And then slowly come. Sit up comfortably. Those who have to leave, you may leave because I know it's already time. Those who can stay a little longer, maybe five, six minutes, stay back. Keeping your back straight, keeping your face relaxed. Thinking of all the things for which you are grateful. 
okay in the stressing times it is very easy for all of us to think negative to be very anxious to be very angry and be very perturbed and disturbed by the things happening around us what can help you to deal with the situation is positivity so find something for which you are happy find something for which you are grateful because that will change your reaction to the situation so let's sit down let's do grammarly i'm not going into shanmukhi mudra and the explanation of it so to keep it simple your index finger not going inside the ear but there is a little flap of skin just outside so just close the ears and when you do that you'll not be able to hear my voice so first this is how we do it grammarly is the vibration or humming like a bee with the na sound na kar so you will inhale by exhale mm you will notice the tongue is at the upper palate you will keep it there and then when you want to inhale again when your body demands that again inhale and then you will exhale i will do a loud clap that will give you the signal that now you may stop once you stop don't try to open your eyes just be in stillness and silence for the next two minutes and then we'll end the session but we'll do brahmari for a little longer so that the mind with the vibrations of the brahmari the mind can be contained okay so let's do that sitting up straight and tall index finger on the flap of the skin outside the ear close your eyes everybody inhale start stop everybody keep your eyes closed back straight and just sit in complete stillness and silence for the next two minutes no instructions from my side just find that stillness or internal gaze you can fix at any point in the body either your navel your heart center your throat your nose tip your right nose center slightly tuck your chin in and just be for the next two minutes. watch the movement of the breath inside that will keep your mind anchored
questions. If you wish to, you can continue to be seated. Others just lean forward, bend, bend down, bow down. And then slow it down. Drop your hands together, drop your arms together rather. Feel the feet. And then slowly place it on the arms. Open your eyes and Thank you so much for joining me in the practice. Today, to be very honest, this is not for you. This was for myself. I needed this practice.